Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we are bringing you our first impressions of the LG G7. And this phone has been a really smooth transition, first of all, from the LG V30, which has been my secondary phone for a while now. And it's been a real smooth transition to the G7. Overall, what are my first thoughts after 24 hours with the device? So first and foremost, I'm gonna give you my biggest con and my biggest pro. First of all, my biggest pro is definitely the Google Assistant button on the side. I just love that I can hit it even if the screen is off and Google Assistant just kicks into high gear. It's a much better uh, benefit than the Bigsby button and it really is nice. Now, do I wish you can customize it? Absolutely, I do. But I do like that you have a one press for Google Assistant and double press for Google Lens. I do like that feature and it's just a really nice extra feature to have built in. Now, what is my biggest con? Hiding the notch is a bit of a lie. I know a lot of people, reviewers have just said, oh, well, if you don't like the notch, you can just hide it. That's kind of BS and I'm, I really wanna call out reviewers on it because although you do hide the notch on your home screen and on your main screen, as soon as you go into most apps, the notch returns. Almost no app built in from Google is customized to not have the notch. And that's really problematic because a lot of other apps most likely then aren't gonna follow it either. And that is something that LG really needs to uh, address right away, just so they don't get a bad reputation of having the issues that Huawei had. Now, the other thing I wanna make sure that you guys know is that LG did definitely listen in regards to the notch because of the fact that it is off by default. When you first turn the phone on, it says, hey, you should have your phone like this, forget that notch, just take it away, you don't want it. So I do like that ability that it is off by default and I wish it was just compatible with every app because that just definitely doesn't look as good. Um, overall though, what are the other things? So in terms of speaker, it is really, really loud, like everyone has said. However, I will say that I don't know if other reviewers just haven't talked about it as much, but the case muffles it a bit because the background is using that loud chamber to really amplify the speaker. When you put a case on it, it actually sounded not as loud as when you didn't. Now, I don't know if just other reviewers haven't had a case on it. Maybe they're, you know, sporting D brand and talking about that. So they haven't put one on there, but overall in terms of a loud chamber, it is muffled by a case. So just take that with what you will. Maybe you do want to skin on it instead, but that is something I've noticed. Uh, I do also wish there was something like Adobe Atmos in terms of uh, fine tuning it. I am not a good fine tuner. I want everything to be automatic based on what I'm playing. And I do wish LG had that. That could be a software update because it does have a lot of presets, but I don't know which one to switch to and when. Overall though, I like the camera. The wide angle is great as ever. Uh, it's always really a pleasure to have that wide angle camera on here. Uh, the AI I'm still messing around with, but so far I haven't taken a bad photo. So that just shows you the kind of quality consistency you get with the LG smartphone. Now, the last thing I wanna go to is battery life, just because I know people are gonna ask me about it. Battery life overall has not been as good on the first day, but that is the day when I install a lot of stuff and I really use the phone to its max. So we're gonna start our 24 hour uh, day tomorrow and see just how long the phone lasts with playing YouTube, with playing games and really heavy user tendencies and then go light user tendencies on the next two days to see if it can last two days with light user activity. So finally, what are my thoughts overall with this phone? Well, I was coming from the LG V30 and honestly, that has been a really smooth transition. The transfer did mess up a little bit wirelessly, but wired, it went through right away. So I do recommend that if you are transferring from an older LG to this one. However, I will say that it's just been a really smooth transition. Is there a difference in the screen brightness? Yes, this is a brighter screen, but I do miss having that OLED and I can tell because that black bar at the top is not as black as the notch uh, and I feel like it would be with an OLED display. So overall, I'm very curious to see how I like this phone in the upcoming weeks, but let me know again what you wanna see this go against, whether it be the top Android smartphones on the market, such as the S9, the V30, and the Pixel 2 XL or the iPhone 10. What do you really wanna see it go against? Because I have a few weeks with it and so far, I am liking what I'm seeing. 
Thank you guys always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.